Welcome back. We're getting in breaking inputs as far as the national capital is concerned. We are now learning that the Aam Aadmi Party has declared four candidates for Delhi and one for Kurukshetra in Haryana. These four Delhi seats are East and West Delhi. Even New Delhi and South Delhi uh, have been listed by the Aam Aadmi Party. Remember, the Congress Party is in a seat-sharing alliance with the Aam Aadmi Party as far as Delhi and Haryana are concerned. And the latest breaking inputs that we are getting in, we are learning that the Aam Aadmi Party has now announced its candidates for the seats of East, West, New Delhi and South Delhi as well. We are also learning uh, that it will be the Congress that will be uh, in fact uh, sending its candidates from the seats of Chandni Chowk, North East uh, Delhi, even North West Delhi constituencies. Let's also listen in to inputs that have come in. Delhi se, Nai Delhi Vidhan Sabha se, Shri Shomnath Bharti ji candidate honge. South Delhi लोक सभा से श्री सही राम जी कैंडिडेट होंगे वेस्ट दिल्ली लोक सभा से श्री महाबल मिश्रा जी कैंडिडेट होंगे और ईस्ट दिल्ली लोक सभा से श्री कुलदीप जी कैंडिडेट होंगे इसके साथ साथ हरियाणा में कुरुक्षेत्र लोक सभा से श्री सुशील गुप्ता जी आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से चुनाव लड़ेंगे Right, so that decision was taken uh, by the Political Affairs Committee of the Aam Aadmi Party. For more details, let's quickly go across to Rupa Shri, uh, who's bringing in the latest information for us. Uh, Rupa Shri, how significant is this decision at the moment, considering we've seen how the BJP swept all seven seats in the national capital in the Lok Sabha election of 2014 and 2019? Henceforth, uh, why is it so important as far as the selection of the candidates is concerned and the seat-sharing formula with the Congress Party? Well, uh, it is uh, actually a make or break uh, situation for the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress Party here in the national capital. And it is very significant considering that this is for the first time after 2014 and after 2019 that Delhi will again see a bipolar contest between uh, the BJP and uh, the India bloc of uh, parties. Remember, before the Aam Aadmi Party came into the scene in 2020, uh, 2013, Delhi had always seen a bipolar contest. And uh, therefore, the, uh, you know, what Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress Party hope is that the anti-BJP vote will get consolidated and will not get uh, split and it is also hoping for a higher turnout in uh, you know in 2024 because last time in 2019 the turnout was very poor it was just around 61 percent which was lower than what it was in 2014 uh, so uh, while uh, you know this question is always being asked and it is always being pointed out that uh, BJP had won all the la all the seven Lok Sabha seats in Delhi in 2019 by more than 50 percent of the vote share and, you know, if you add the combined vote shares of the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress Party, they would still fall short of 10 to 15 percent, uh, you know, in each of the constituencies. But having said that, I would also like to say that unless they come together, unless the anti-BJP vote is consolidated, neither of the parties have actually any chance at all. So it is a very significant move that they have right. gone ahead and announced it. The second most important point, of course, is that Aam Aadmi Party has announced uh, three of its uh, sitting MLAs uh, for three of the constituencies mm. and again Mahabal Mishra who was a former MP who, was switched, who had switched to Aam Aadmi Party from the Congress Party from West Delhi constituency because uh, he is you know he's a seasoned player and uh, he has been in that uh, uh, constituency for a long time his son Vinay Mishra is also with the Aam Aadmi Party uh, the third important point of course uh, is that Aam Aadmi Party has decided to field a scheduled caste candidate that is Kulti Kumar Modu it's a only MLA from uh, the East Delhi constituency, which is actually not a reserved constituency. Right. And remember, the East Delhi constituency now is being represented by uh, the former, uh, you know, uh, uh, the uh, uh, former uh, cricketer and uh, from the BJP. And he and uh, and and uh, and the party in this way has actually taken a chance uh, by uh, fielding somebody who belongs to the scheduled caste uh, from a general uh, constituency. And it remains to be seen whether this works or not. And in Kurukshetra, Haryana, they have decided to field Shushil Kumar Gupta, who was the only Rajya Sabha member who was not renominated uh, from the Lok Sabha constituency uh, that uh, that fell into the Aam Aadmi Party's uh, shed as uh, part of the India Alliance. All right, many thanks to you, Rupa Shri, for bringing in all those latest inputs. And with that, let's.